Today is the day, my friends, that we form Prussia. But before that, there's a couple of things that need to be done. But uh, it will happen. It will happen very, very soon. We've got our governing capacity partially sorted, I think. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the booty, but we'll make it work here. Now, there is a center, there's a zone of control here, but this fort here in Brandenburg. So I think both of these forts here are a little redundant, but I think it's okay. But welcome back, everybody, to Brandenburg and to Prussia. I hope that you guys have been enjoying the run because I know I certainly am. We are currently converting a bunch of stuff. We are going to be able to avoid that. I'm not worried about this uh, looming disaster. Uh, we've Our Inquisitor has died. Mm hmm. Well... I suppose we'll go with a an admin guy. It's fine with me. We've still got some admin ideas to work through. Religious rebels in Lubeck. All right. Let's, uh, let's see what those guys have to say. Oh, they have nothing to say. That's what I thought. So we're waiting until the new year. We're going to take these texts, and then uh, we're finally going to start working through our idea group in uh, admin. Well, obviously, yeah, we finished espionage. We're going to finish out admin, and then our next idea group, we are going to go with offensive, because offensive is, uh, is very strong. Offensive gives, uh, an, uh, basically offensive is a better generals and better sieges slash a couple of small other bonuses. Offensive is really good because it gives you two pips, one fire, one shock. Recruitment time is fine, I guess. This is the kind of the weak one here. Uh, prestige from land battles is nice because it lets you max out your prestige easier. 20% siege ability means 20% off of the base. So 30 days is the base siege tick. 20% of that is every, every siege tick is shortened by 20%. And then the innovative offensive... Um, policy gives them an extra 10 plus a landing leader siege. So you get three siege or three general pips and 30% siege ability. Additionally, additionally, we get 15% land force limit, which is really strong. Special units. I don't think we have special units, but if we did, we would be able to use more of them. Discipline, army morale recovery speed, which is really good, allows you to get back into a fights after you know dealing with a couple of fights. And then spy network construction with espionage is fine. You know, it's 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 fine. We're gonna go with it. And uh, you can see here, we are well ahead of time. So we're going to be able to rip through most of this idea group very quickly. Uh, now, obviously, we are uh, we're good. We can click the button and we will click it. Um, I kind of want to get out of this war first. So we're going to get out of this war first. That is going to uh, that hurts their trust with us just a little bit. But alas, I have plenty of favors with them. And uh, now they love me a lot. I will Royal Mary Brunswick and we will... I'm trying to make sure that I'm not forgetting something. I'm pretty sure I'm good. It's just good uh, good practice here. So let's yoink Crown Land. And then we will give up that five that we just took for governing capacity. Because we're going to need it. Uh, because you can see here we're at 400 out of 800. And it says we're supposed to get... And, and if we form Prussia, which we will. We're going to form Prussia. There you go. Right? Uh, so Poison Gloria and all that. We are now Prussia with a beautiful new map color, might I add. I like it. I do not care what anybody says. This is better than gray, period. Of course, we will go with the new traditions. And you can see here, we start off with yearly army tradition and 10% aggressive expansion impact. And in the end, we will gain 10 or 5% discipline on top of our new militarization mechanic, which has not been nerfed. According to a couple of uh, people in the comments, they say that it is nerfed. Nope, it has not been nerfed. It is different than it was before, but it has not been nerfed. It's just been reworked. Uh, as far as this, we got stab cost, taunt to the true faith. That's fine. That's basically stability within your nation. Yearly army tradition decay on top of actual army tradition growth. So very good. 20% morale of armies. Uh, Junker loyalty is fine. Uh, and then infantry combat ability, 20%. Very powerful. Uh, national manpower, 25% and recruitment time. So on recruitment time on top of this. So 20% recruitment time. So we'll be able to get bigger armies much faster. Uh, and then 5% uh, dev cost and tolerance of heretics. So tolerance. And then you finish off with that. So you can see here, we already, or we are at zero discipline. But once we finish this and this, we will have 10% discipline. Once we max this out, we will get, uh, what is it? 5% discipline. So 15% discipline. And then uh, as we work through probably quality later, you'll see we'll be able to get some more stuff. Now, we are not an empire. We are a kingdom still. Okay, I don't, I feel like that's a bug that we were able to do that, but it led us, so I'm not going to ask any questions. I will accept Pomeranian culture because those provinces are taking some serious malices for not having it. And, uh, let's see here. I don't want these guys to be disloyal, like, at all, if I can avoid it, but I think on the monthly tick they'll be good. And you can see here, 
we are losing money because reasons. Oh, right, because we are no longer the Margravate. Margravate? Margravate? Uh, because the Prussian monarchy is much better. Of course, that gives us the militarization. Uh, early and then regular and then total. So I'm not sure how exactly that works, but we're going to have to look. Our mission tree has not changed. It's the same mission tree. Uh, and so let's see here. How do we want to handle this? I guess we'll just turn our forts off. It does hurt our uh, army tradition by a bit, but that's okay. It honestly allows us to have a much better economy here. We're not going to invest in militarization because we can't really afford it. But uh, since... I said we were going to work through our admin, but I think what I'm going to actually do here first is I'm going to click a couple of these buttons here because being under this governing capacity will allow us to get a little bit of militarization here. And I uh, can't remember how exactly we get it. Um, I mean, obviously you get it by clicking this button, but it definitely scales up over time with various things. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it's fine. Either way, we are very, very much set up in a good position. So we are going to attack these guys here in February. So let's get our one army up here. And we should probably get a couple more cannons in the army. So we can at least do a full-blown um, siege. Uh, I will not lose any more money if I don't have to. We have how many loans left? Three? It's fine. We'll be able to take plenty of money in the war. So yes, all is well. Poisson's Gloria. Poisson's Gloria. And uh, we are ahead of time on all tech, so let's just work through those ideas. There is no reason not to. And uh, all is well with that. Always a good thing to see. Uh, do we need to upgrade our ships? We do. But uh, but alas, I cannot. So we will have to attack these guys and do what we can. Muscovy, you filthy creatures. All right, this is fine. But yeah, you can see the, the Reformation is going strong. So the, the Protestant Reformation is good. Oh, Sweden is Catholic again. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's have these guys head over and take out Moskva. Moskva. That is going to be uh, very useful for us in terms of, uh, of, uh, whatchamacallit? Of, um, money. We'll be able to get lots of money for that. So let's have you guys come on over here. See these guys down. Since we have 10, uh, ships or 10, uh, cannons in that stack. It's going to get very, very quickly through that. So let's just go ahead and piece these guys out. We'll force religion, though. So, yeah, I'm going to wait for them to get siege down first. We are going to come on over here and hopefully stack white. Nah. They attacked my boys. Look what they did to my boys. We've won the siege of Moskva. Don't even look at this army over here. Just run train on them. Do whatever we want. So, uh, no, sue for peace. I want war reps from them. That's a big one. Obviously, we need to carpet siege them down. And you can see our sieges actually feel kind of snappy. I know, obviously, I'm playing on speed five, and that's <laughs> that's going to lead to quite a bit of uh, you know, stuff with that. But cost of advisors with rulers culture that might be useful. Uh, let's see here, because they've they've changed a couple of these. Some of these are definitely new. Monthly war exhaustion is nice. Idea cost is good. But idea cost is pretty low because it's five percent of the base, and the base is I think. 400 so it's like what is that 20 mana per idea 5% dev cost might be the way uh, missionary strength is fine discipline I have morale production efficiency is good as well for economy yearly prestige is also quite nice but it's small let's go with the autonomy change we're taking a ton of land so that'll be good for us or not a ton of land, but we will be taking a ton of land. So yeah, these guys are going to give me war reps. And then they will give me all that money. And I will get a lot of that, which is going to be very good for us. So yep, yeah, we'll just uh, siege them down. I don't care. Oh, what the heck? Okay, Muscovy. Yeah, I win that. Not Not stressed. Here we go. Get these guys as occupied as possible over here. Uh, Muscovy will get pieced out for that whole shebang there. That is a lot of money that we just got for that. Where'd that 4%er come from? My goodness. Trying to run me dry over here. Uh, these guys over here are being sieged down slowly but surely. These guys have been sieged down and they will be forced religion. Oh no, they're sieged down in another war. That's fine. All is well with that. France is not in this war? Oh, I was thinking I called Franson, but 
that would explain why uh why they're not in the war i must have not done it that's all good though either way let's have these guys uh yeah they were good get these guys carpet sieged down over here get you guys over there these are full occupied we cannot afford that, right? That's okay. I will take all their trade power. The trade power is good because it allows us to have more trade power here. A lot of people don't know that. Having trade power in this node is very good for us because that 42%, part of it is transferred upstream. So we get more power trade power in here. Uh, let me see where it says exactly. Uh, I should say... Mm, I don't actually know where exactly it says it. Yeah, I don't know exactly where it comes from. It says that right there. It says receives trade power from Holland. So I take the trade power they have here, but I don't remember exactly where it is. But essentially, we are taking the trade. Ooh, nice. We are taking the trade from that node and projecting it upstream, kind of. So Hamburg is no longer a free city, which is very good for us. Once our truce is up, I will be able to attack them and annex them and Bremen. So that's actually like super fortunate. I will go ahead. I kind of want to take Defender of the Faith. I kind of want to, but uh, I won't right now. This is fine. So Friesland will be obviously converted. They are already Protestant. No, they are not. Why does I not have the choice for that? Did I not have it? Oh, Force Religion. Why is it at the bottom there? There we go. And uh, Trade Power, all of your money. All is well with that. And now this war is over. Now, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to do something like this because... Uh, first of all, we get Ostjutland or whatever. Ostjutland, we have, uh, we'll take the trade center here and we'll get these guys in the next war with them. Uh, the more trade power we have up here, the more money we will be able to collect, which will allow us to snowball more. Uh, so that is fine. And instead of a light, a nice short truce, I'll just take, I'll just uh, max it out and take all of their money. That is going to be incredibly strong. And uh, France is going to war with Brittany and Great Britain. Okay, I guess. Sounds good, man. Let's pay off those debts there. And I can pay off all of my loans? No, I can pay off two of them, though, and I will. That is fine with me. Now, they, they don't need me in this war. I'll just let my subjects handle it. So, uh, in that, let's just have my armies drilling over here, then. And uh, let's see here. How is our governing capacity? So, you can see we're right at the cap there. So we're going to definitely spend a bit of our money on these courthouses. They've been buffed because they do not any longer take, um, they no longer take, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a building slot. They are for free now. Brunswickian peasants, huh? It's fine. Let's core that all up. All is well with that. We could actually take some of the development, but it's okay. I think we'll leave it there. But yeah, the courthouses no longer take up a a, a a building slot. So they're very useful in that regard. So we're just waiting on this truce here, which is over. Let's go ahead and attack them. The Platinate will join because they're allied. Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. Goodbye, Platinate. I actually don't know if I win this fight or not. No, I lose. Uh, hilarious. Yeah, they stack wiped themselves. That's about what I thought was going to happen there. Let's go ahead and go with reinforced speed, I guess. Doesn't matter to me. We are losing some money, but uh, I'm not too stressed about it. The Brittany Navy. Ooh, I do need to keep an eye on the British Navy, though. Yeah, I got to be careful about the British Navy. The Red Squadron. Seven heavies. They would have just absolutely uh, gangbanged me. So, yeah, I got to be careful about that. But this is fine. In this war, I'm going to annex these guys and Bremen. Uh, probably take this Grongen or whatever as well. Now, Bremen is going to be quite a bit of... Um, Quite a bit of aggressive expansion, so we got to be mindful of that. But you know, we'll do what we can with it. So, yeah, Platinate. I'm gonna end up just force converting them anyways. They'll be my friend again after that because they'll be like, "Hey, you're my brother in the faith. You wanna you wanna be friends?" And I'll say, "Yeah, sure. Sounds good to me, man." Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, these are this is borked. Persian Enlightenment, right? That's a new one because Persia used to get uh, cannon bonuses. Oh, Mughal Artillery. Wait, what did this used to be? I can't remember what this used to be. Either way, War Score Cost versus Other Religions is based in red-pilled, as the kids say, because this will allow us to take all of these provinces, 
for 20% less war score, which is um, statistically significant. Let's get you guys down here. Come on now. Am I not drilled? Apparently not enough. It's fine. We'll get over here and just siege them down. If they want to uh, want to be annoying, they can, I guess. No, what can I do to stop them? Let's uh do a little do a little snipe there. Let's get you guys over here. Skagrax, shoot, man. Yeah, we're gonna have to run from that. That battle is not gonna be a win for us. Yeah. That could have been worse. That's good though. It's good that they we we got them off of our fort there. Um okay, let's get you guys siege down now. Defeat and exec execute hundreds of robber barons throughout the realm. Robber baron resurgence, huh? National unrest and autonomy change. And the burgers will lose loyalty. Alright, let's just go ahead and uh put down the robber barons. It's fine. Fine by me. Uh, we are still definitely good at, to continue through this. My subjects keep on getting like, <laughs> keep on getting uh, uppity. Gonna obviously have to handle that. Did that just give us that 20% infantry combat ability? So we are now going to be hitting a much harder uh, day at the court. Apparently that is not gonna work. Let's go go with some Imperator Rome soundtrack. Very good. Zweibuchen. Um. Force religion, 69 war score, very good. And uh, now, oh wait, they weren't the emperor. Austria is the emperor now. Since when? Interesting, okay, that's fine. And uh, yeah, we've already won this one. So yeah, I guess we just, the oh Bremen, I thought that was the Pope. I got excited for a second there. All right, Bremen, your army is uh, now kaput. Goodbye. You are the weakest link. And uh, let's get our boys over here and have them drill. Because this war is over. Yeah, totally fine. I'm not I'm not, not even stressed at all about that aggressive expansion. Nuremberg. So Holland is the last one here. This one would be Nassau, Nuremberg, and East Frisia. East Frisia I want to attack. But uh, they are a free city now. Nuremberg, I can probably get to not join. And who was who was the other one? Nassau? They are Protestant as well, so we can just improve relations with them, and we should be good. And now we just need to basically continue to work through our mission tree, which we'll take a look at here in a moment, uh, because we want to make sure that we are pushing through it at the at our leisure. Uh, East Frisia, let's go ahead and improve with you guys, and uh, let's let's peace out, easy peasy. That is two major centers of trade here in our uh, home node. Lots of admin mana. My goodness, lots of overextension as well. Uh, lots of governing capacity <laughs> issues. All right. Well, you'll have that. Uh, let's go ahead and... Hmm. I guess we'll go with... What is our war exhaustion? It's going down right now because uh, we're kind hearted. Very good. Consolidated noble contracts. Call for peace. Estonian separatists. Are they handled? Are they handling those rebels? They are. Okay. That was a little scary there. Okay. This is fine. We are over our governing capacity, so we need to start uh, thinking about how we want to do that. We're going to need to... Let's just do dev costs because we're going to end up developing plenty. I assume we will at least. And again, my subjects is disloyal. Absolutely ungrateful. Enforced religion should go down. A little bit of development. Guess I just need to get a couple more uh, boys in the army. So let's go ahead and do that. Right, let's click that button that I just cleared off over here. And then give him there a 432. I've seen worse. I've had worse. Still need to pay off one more loan. We have a new heir, a 254. Friedrich Wilhelm. I'll take it. I will take it. Coalition grows. Oh no. Anyways. So let's take a look at our mission tree. Where do we go next? Onsbach succession. I don't care about this one, honestly. We'll worry about it later. So th these two don't matter to me. Uh, develop Konigsberg is to develop Konigsberg. If you can believe that, 
Uh, if we complete this mission with at least 25 universities, we will get experience a golden arrow without experiencing our own for the duration of our ruler's our own ruler's life. Oh, what? So we get a golden arrow until our ruler dies. That's really cool, actually. Um, but we don't have universities, so no. It's not going to happen. I don't know if I really care about going into Poland because this one here gives us the Age of Reformation bonus from the Poles, to, which is 33% goods produced, something like that. Yeah. Gained access to this, this ability via a reward. Probably not too stressed about it. Uh, so conquer Lower Saxony here. So we need these two boyos. So who are you allied to here? They're in my coalition. Aachen Anhalt. So I can attack these guys and annex Goslar. And our coalition will grow a wee little bit larger in the meantime. Easy peasy. All right. Let's get you guys over here. Let's wait for our cannons to join up over here. The coalition grows more. I literally don't care. And now I'm just going to sort by how long it will take. And we're going to sort by uh, or have stuff that's just going to convert as quickly as possible. Easy peasy. All I want in this war is these two provinces. That's it. That's all I care about. And then anytime I can convert somebody else, like Rothenburg can be converted now. So I'm going to do that, right? Easy enough. Let's have you guys come up here. And uh, Great Britain will see the Labour, Labour to France and revoke some cores. Very good. Well done. Uh huh. Let's get down here to Rothenburg. And yeah, that's it. We basically won now. Uh, we are losing a bit of money. Reinforcements, I assume. Fort maintenance. That's a big one. Army maintenance is crazy, though. My gosh. Yeah, reinforcements is is kind of nuts. Um. Spain joined. Oh, Spain intervened. Spain definitely intervened over here. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to... Oh, hey, they felt Livonia in order formed Livonia. Is that because they went... They went... Um, Protestant? Is that why? That would make sense. But I actually am not familiar with that one. Yikes. I don't have mill access over here, do I? Let's get mill access through one, one tag here. And then we'll send our 28 stack over here to handle the uh, the Spanish. Oh, and they peaced out. Never mind. Psych. <laughs> Let's uh, revoke that. Uh, sure, a little bit of Diplo is fine. Norway is disloyal now. I'll just keep spending my prestige on it, I guess. Which is a bummer because that does mean that I have to handle... I have to worry about... Um, uh, aggressive expansion a little bit more. These guys are a free city, which doesn't matter, but that's the problem. The fact that they are um, that they are not a co-belligerent. So, we, anybody who's under, like, 53, like Denmark, Brabant, I don't care about those guys, Baden even, but, like, Versberg, what we're going to do is we're going to just, oh, these guys are a, one province minor again. Yeah, those guys are not going to be, like, not going to like me. Coburg, man, these guys got dismantled. Those guys hate me as well. AE and Unlawful Territory. Right, I forgot about Unlawful Territory. I'm not allied to the Emperor anymore. Okay. Munich, Frankfurt. Just improve relations with a few people. If we can keep the... the uh, keep it a little bit smaller, we might as well, right? There's no, there's no downside to having a little bit smaller of a coalition. Won the Siege of Rothenburg. Very good. Let's have you guys pieced out for Force Religion, Trade Power, and all of your money. Very good. And sure, just keep converting stuff. And let's see, who else we got here? Rothenburg cannot. Aachen, Cologne. Most of these guys are like one province miners. I really don't care about them. Oh my gosh, people, the borders are have changed a lot. So let's see here. Did it say Liege? Liege. Are they on that list? I don't see them at a quick glance, but this is fine. But yeah, basically, I'm just trying to grow, finish my missions, get big and strong, and remain the Protestant boyo in the Empire. Because as uh, we are able to, we will... We're going to want to take over the Emperor's ship upon the uh, formation of the League War. These things like this... Uh, this is honestly not a big deal. But yeah, this this is going to help boost relations with some people in the HRE. Uh, honestly, I don't care about any of those people. So yeah, this is fine. 
So these guys went Protestant. That's good. France will join my war that I'm already done with. Feels good, man. All right. Now, Denmark. We'll have to wait one more year because Brabant, Denmark, Baden, Württemberg, none of those guys will be able to join. So let's see here. Munich. Can I get Munich out? I can. I'm already improving relations with them. On Spock, let's get Versberg is going to join if they want to. Those guys as well. Hesse as well. NASA, improving relations with. Cologne, let's improve with Cologne. I just, I just am trying to prevent the coalition. The War of Religion in France. Yes, we will gain a bit of aggress or a, a bit of a war exhaustion. It's fine. I can actually embrace, uh, claim the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, Defender of the Faith, and I probably will, to be honest with you. Okay, let's recall a few of these guys, and then let's see who else we got. Versberg, don't care. Holland, get, uh, these guys are already in my coalition, are they not? Yeah, they are. Uh, who else we got? Nuremberg, it's all like OPMs. That's the thing. Like All these guys are just OPMs. I mean, still, if I can prevent them, I want to. All right. Let's recall you. And let's go ahead and do this. That will allow us to finish this mission here. Oh, after we get East Frisia, who is a free city. Feels so bad, man. So, yeah. How come East Frisia will call in Austria as a co-belligerent? But when I went to call attack Hamburg... They were calling in the planet who is not a co-belligerent. Is that because they were my friend? You reckon? Let's see here. Can I improve with you? You want to be my friend, Austria? Let's see here. Who you hate? Styria? Understandable. I can understand that they would hate them. All right. I'm not going to get you guys to like me. So let's go ahead. Send a uh, scornful insult to Styria. Let them know how we feel about them. And before we get into unlawful territory, let's ally those guys. No unlawful territory. Ooh, poor Hungary. Does that mean Austria? Yeah, Austria's at war with the Ottomans now. Well, better them than me. We're not gaining any militarization. We're actually losing a ton. Overgoverning cap. Yeah, yeah, you'll have that. So that's that's definitely going to be an issue for us. We're going to have to continue to build these buildings. And we're going to wrap this up. Uh, but uh, all we need to do is get to war with East Frisia. So this is how we, we can get around that. Yep, this is fine. I'll just turn right around and attack them. Uh, they shouldn't be able to do a, uh, a, uh, a... What's it called? The thing where they demand unlawful territory. They shouldn't be able to do it. Our coalition will grow. I don't care. They can attack me. Go ahead. Go ahead and attack me into my alliance of France, Lithuania, and Prussia, slash Norway, Livonia, all those guys, right? All right, lads, if you are excited for what's next, make sure you leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe. And when you subscribe, ding the bell, you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos, which is the best way to keep up to date with the channel. Special thanks to ALS Gamer, Legrand Pooba, Chio, Josh Kapchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Cannon Fodder, and many more. If you want to see your name here and early access to these videos, check out the join button below the video or the Patreon linked in the description.